Preparation model paper 8, S. arbinate plant pathology, which is especially on uh, phenerogamic plant parasites. I am Anach Shankar Reddy, PhD plant pathology. First one is a uh, complete uh, root parasite. So in the entire phenerogamic para plant parasite, there are only four important phenerogamic plant parasites are there. Cascuta, Loranthus, Warabanki and Striga. So, Cascuta is called as generally complete stem parasite. Loranthus is called as partial stem parasite. Warabank is called as complete root parasite. Striga is called as complete, uh, sorry, partial root parasite. So, these are all uh, some, uh, the most important whatever, uh, if you see any book, uh, the phenerogamic plant parasites majorly revolves, revolves around this uh, four phenerogamic plant parasite, Cascuta, Loranthus, Warabank and Striga. So, you just uh, remember this and uh, there is alternate names for this uh, uh, organisms, uh, this uh, pathogens as well. So, let's uh, start with a complete uh, root parasites. Just now we have uh, discussed it, right? So, Cascuta, Loranthus, Warabanki, Striga. So, here what they asked is a complete root parasite. Wo means Warabanki. So, Warabanki is the best example for complete root parasite. The next one is a partial root parasite. So, Cascuta, Loranthus, Warabanki, Striga. Again, here uh, we have already discussed uh, Striga is the example for partial root parasite. Partial stem parasite. PS means partial stem parasite. L means Loranthus. Here, uh, Loranthus is the example. Uh, so, partial stem parasite. Complete stem parasite. There is only one left. C, C stands for uh, Cascuta. So, it has other names. Cascuta is otherwise called as Banda. Like uh, other names also will be there. So, that is also very important one. So, that will come in the later slides, I believe. So, the next one, uh, largest flower in the world. So, Viscom album, roughly Arnoldi, Cascuta Campestris, Cascuta Gravani. So, here the largest uh, flower in the world is generally this uh, <coughs> roughly Arnoldi. It will uh, reaches around 2 to 3 meters uh, uh, width. It is uh, mentioned that it reaches around 2 to 3 meters width and it is considered as one of the largest flower on the world. So, the next one is uh, other names of uh, Cascuta. So, what are all the different kinds of names the Cascuta is having? Just now I told you, right? So, Golden Wean, Dodder, Love Wean, all the above. So, the answer is all the above. The next one is uh, Banda is uh, otherwise called as. So, Banda is otherwise called as Loranthus. To have a better understanding, I have given the other names of the parasites here. So, complete stem parasite, Cascuta. So, what are all the other names of this uh, complete stem parasite? For example, Golden Wein, Dodder, Hellwein, Hairweed, Lovewein, Amarbel. So, these are all the various uh, other names of this uh, Cascuta, which is a complete stem parasite. When it comes to partial stem parasite, Loranthus, Dendroptoi, Jaint Mishlito, or Banda, these are all the other names. Complete root parasite, Varavanki, Broom Rape, and Tokra. Partial root parasite, that is Striga. Striga is a well known. Uh, uh, with the other name that is a uh, witch weed and uh, this question was asked in many exams as well so so these are all the other names just to have a general understanding so regarding this uh, phenerogamic plant parasite we have already published a, a video regarding net in the previous year so before uh, seeing this video it is suggested to uh, uh, go through that video and then come back to here to have a better understanding so for easy remembering for easy remembering to students we suggest you there is an order called clause c l o s Cascuta, Loranthus, Warabanki, and Striga that always starts with an adder of a complete stem ends with a partial root. Complete stem, partial stem. Complete root, partial root and match the same order with the CLOS, Cascuta, Loranthus, Warabanki and Striga that will give you right sense of answers. Broom rape is the other name of. So generally broom rape is the other name of uh, Warabanki, right? So, Warabank is also known as a broom rape. Other names in the previous slide we have discussed. This Warabank is commonly called as complete root parasites. Like that, uh, they may ask interconnected questions also. But generally, if this question, uh, the broom rape is other name of this question falls under uh, uh, Warabank, right? Generally, the answer is. But answer, this answer is directly or indirectly connected to this complete root parasite. So, based on the options given also, we must act according. So, next one is all phenerogamic plant parasites absorb nutrients through. 
so all phenyl plant parasites absorb nutrients through hostoria whatever it is cascota or lorantha or maybe warabank or maybe striga so sometimes for uh, making us confused they may ask like uh, cascota absorb nutrients through or uh, warabank absorb nutrients through or uh, broom rape absorb nutrients through or uh, amarbel absorb nutrients so indirect questions they may ask whatever it is if it is a phenyl plant parasites they absorb nutrients through hostoria so this hostoria also uh, the nutrient absorbing organ when it comes to fungi also right upper story is generally the attachment organ okay so all phenyl plant parasite can absorb nutrients through hostoria so they may mention the specific uh, phenyl plant parasites also don't get confused any phenyl plant parasite whether they mentioned uh, cascota or loranthus or maybe striga irrespective of that if it is a, since it is a phenyl plant parasite they absorb nutrients through hostoria so the next one is a shallow cup like upper story is produced by Cascota or Loranthus or Orobanchi or Striga. Here, one important point is uh, this is shallow cup like upper sorum is especially produced by Orobanchi. So, Orobanchi generally we observe that this Orobanchi is especially infects uh, uh, tobacco. And if you see the tobacco, this is the most problematic uh, parasitic weed. Uh, this uh, Orobanchi can produce a shallow cup like upper sorum. The upper sorum is located shallow cup and it also one more uh, special features is a snap dragon like flowers if you see this third uh, flowers are like a dragon snap dragon so shallow cup like upper sorium and snap dragon like flowers are produced by warabanki next one a host infected by loranthus so the loranthus mainly infected host called the mango the, by the this is a fruit tree right so if you see the branches uh, or uh, some uh, young uh, upgrowing the branches or uh, stems uh, we can see the very big uh, like uh, tumor kind of thing very big tumor kind of thing that is a loranthus that is mainly we can observe in this fruit tree that is a mango next one sugar cane act as a host for so which of the following uh, the sugar cane is a host cascuta loranthus warabanki and uh, striga so generally this uh, striga is the best uh, uh, can that best to infect this uh, sugar cane of course this sugar can actually act, act as a host for uh, this uh, striga so next one uh, vriksha baksha is a sanskrit word which which means so plant destroyer plant eater plant saver all the above Vr in sanskrit uh, vriksha means uh, plant baksha means eater so it is also i think it's a little bit uh, more or less similar to the hindi as well right so vriksha baksha is generally a sanskrit word which means a plant eater vriksha means plant uh, baksha means uh, eater plant eater plant destroyer means phytophthora phyto means plant thora means destroyer plant destroyer means phytophthora the name was given by anton d very we know very well so plant eater means vriksha baksha vriksha baksha is generally the term related to plant eater Vriksha baksha denotes uh, which plant phenyl plant parasites. Just now we discussed Vriksha means plant, baksha means eater. So generally this uh, terminology especially recommended for uh, Loranthus as I told you just now it infects mango, right? So once it starts infected, it starts, it uh, starts to draw the nutrient from this uh, infected plant parts due to continuous drawing or due to continuous uh, a weakening of the plant this is considered as a Vriksha baksha. It is a Sanskrit word which means a plant eater. Generally Loranthus is considered as a Vriksha baksha. So trap crap for uh, striga, tomato, tobacco, cotton, all the above. Generally for striga, cotton can be recommended as a, a trap crap. So which of the following gas stimulate the growth of uh, striga? Ethylene, oxygen, nitrogen, all the above. Generally ethylene uh, uh, gas can uh, help to stimulate this uh, growth of this uh, striga. The next one is the uh, dwarf mistletoe dwarf mistletoe which of the following is a dwarf mistletoe phonodendron archetobium agenitia all the above generally archetobium is considered as a dwarf mistletoe striga belonging to the family convolvulaceae loranthaceae warabankaceae scorfloraceae generally this is striga otherwise called as a, uh, uh, some other name is the alternate name is like broom rape uh, uh, this uh, uh, this is belonging to the family scorfloraceae so striga belonging to the family scorfloraceae before it comes under scorfloraceae now i think it is classified under uh, warabank ca i think uh, i suggest you please refer this i think this question was asked in 2023 as well 2023 net as well striga generally relying, uh, belonging to scorfloraceae but uh, the present uh, classification or present uh, uh, in the present thing they have a classified under uh, warabank ca i think please refer this 
and the rice chira disease is due to molybdenum zinc calcium and manganese deficiency it is a very very important one we know very well this this rice chira disease is the deficiency of zinc the next one which of the following one is a zinc deficiency so of course rice chira is a zinc deficiency uh, with, uh, rather than that uh, there is a, there is any other zinc deficiency diseases are there that they are asking citrus foliocellulosis a uh, gray speck of woods marsh pot of pea and uh, black heart of uh, celery so among the given option uh, this uh, citrus foliocellulosis is also caused by zinc deficiency of course rice chira disease citrus foliocellulosis so these two are caused by zinc deficiency among this other uh, uh, other things also there the next one which of the following is a manganese uh, deficiency i think this uh, chapter is uh, the combination of both phenyrogonic plant parasites and physiological disorders as well so the next one which of the following is a manganese uh, deficiency palablate of sugarcane citrus mottling gray speck so i think all the options which are given here are uh, manganese deficiency only like palablate is a manganese only citrus mottling and gray speck of oats also a manganese deficiency so the answer is all the above the next one is a whiptail of a cauliflower is the deficiency of calcium molybdenum boron and uh, manganese so it is also very very important one it's been years that i am seeing this question since uh, my ug onwards i am seeing this question the whiptail of cauliflower is caused by molybdenum deficiency it's a very 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 important question the next one is blossom end rot of tomato is due to calcium deficiency molybdenum deficiency boron deficiency and uh, magnesium deficiency generally this uh, blossom end rot of uh, fruits and as well as uh, vegetables like uh, tomato or maybe apple this blossom and rot is caused by calcium deficiency the next one is which of the following disease is a boron deficiency top sickness of tobacco hen and chicken disease of grapes both a and b black heart of potato generally this black heart of potato is a oxygen deficiency top sickness of tobacco and hen and chicken disease of grapes both are false under this boron deficiency so the answer is a and b black heart of potato just now we discussed right so black heart of potato is due to oxygen deficiency or maybe shortage of oxygen this disease will come so it is also important on black heart of potato is caused by oxygen deficiency the next one is the sand run of tobacco is the deficiency of phosphorus magnesium boron all the above so this sand run of tobacco is generally caused by the shortage of magnesium sir magnesium deficiency so the answer is magnesium The next one is the silver leaf of tomato is due to the deficiency of zinc peroxyacyl nitrate ethylene ozone it is actually not the deficiency i think right so it is actually due to toxicity silver leaf of tomato is due to the toxicity of peroxyacyl nitrate it is a very very important one so due to this uh, uh, pollutant Uh, there is a disease that we can observe on tomato that is called a silver leaf of tomato uh, it is not a toxic uh, it is not a deficiency it is because of toxicity so that is a peroxyacyl nitrate due to peroxyacyl nitrate there is there will be a disease in the tomato that is a silver leaf of tomato the next one ozone uh, injurious to plants at a minimum concentration of what is the minimum concentration that ozone can cause disease in plants 0.1 to 0.10 ppb 0.05 to 0.09 ppm 0.10 to 0.30 0.50 to 1.00 pm so generally this ozone is uh, highly like uh, we can say that uh, highly toxic at the concentration range of uh, 0.1 to 0.30 ppm then next one is the top sickness of tobacco is due to the deficiency of so carbon boron zinc molybdenum top sickness of tobacco is due to boron deficiency sun scald of tomato is uh, due to high temperature low temperature low oxygen level low intensity low light intensity generally at high temperatures uh, we can see this uh, sun scald of tomato in tomato generally some kind of uh, spots normal kind of spots only like some kind of uh, a uh, skin uh, discolorations can be observed that is due to high temperature and uh, in pomegranate also we can observe like uh, we can call as sunburn so some kind of spots generally this kind of spots we can observe so this is that is called uh, in pomegranate sunburn so both are due to high temperatures so bumpy fruit of papaya is due to the toxicity of so bumpy fruit is due to the toxicity of boron so due to boron toxicity in papaya we can observe this is the or deficiency called bumpy fruit so leaf mistletoe which of the following is a leaf mistletoe archithobium agenita phonodendron all the above generally this phonodendron is considered as a leaf mistletoe 
hard food hard sorry hard food of uh, citrus is due to nitrogen boron manganese and uh, molybdenum so probably i think uh, boron deficiency due to boron deficiency we can observe a hard food of citrus the next one is uh, chlorosis due to iron deficiency detected in so chlorosis in the sense all uh, just yellowing of uh, uh, the uh, leaves generally uh, that can be due to uh, iron deficiency that can be observed in which leaves chlorosis in the sense yellowing of leaves okay older leaves older stems flowers young growing leaves so the answer is young growing leaves in the young growing leaves we can clearly observe this iron deficiency so the indication is like yellowing of leaves that is especially in uh, young growing leaves so which chemical is recommended for the control of a striga in the sorghum field as i told you striga can infect a sorghum and as well as a uh, we can also see another host uh, as well so generally uh, sugar can also uh, like uh, the, which chemical can be recommended for this uh, management so atrazin alaclor carbofuran and 24d so, so 24d is uh, the best uh, weed side or herbicide that can be recommended for the management of this uh, striga and sorghum field white bud of maize is uh, due to boron iron nitrogen zinc so generally zinc deficiency now i told you three zinc deficiencies uh, rice kera disease citrus foliocellulosis and white bud of maize these three are caused by zinc deficiency only the next one is which of the following disease is due to copper deficiency citrus exanthema reclamation of oats both a and b and none of the above so citrus exanthema is confirmed and uh, probably is reclamation of oats also so citrus exanthema is definitely caused by copper deficiency only i was a little bit doubt about this reclamation of oats if it is yes so the answer is both a and b but this is citrus exanthema is definitely caused by copper deficiency rosetia of apple is uh, due to boron deficiency pan peroxyacyl nitrate ha manganese deficiency and molybdenum deficiency so the answer is generally this rosetia of apple is mainly due to boron deficiency marginal dying of banana is uh, due to nitrogen potassium phosphorus calcium so marginal dying of banana is due to potassium deficiency mistletoe is the first plant parasite to be recognized by 1200 ad by corda clusius albertus magnus theophrastus this is also important question albertus magnus is actually generally a church priest so he is the first person who recognized or uh, uh, discovered the world's first plant parasite that is uh, mistletoe so the next one is the uh, reddening of uh, cotton is due to so mistletoe have uh, other names like uh, uh, that i have uh, we have mentioned in the uh, like uh, there are various other names are there that have we have mentioned in the uh, previously published videos especially on phenyromic plant parasites so this uh, reddening of uh, cotton so mistletoe is nothing but loranthus only okay so the loranthus uh, other names are also there right that we have mentioned just go through so the reddening of cotton is uh, due to nitrogen phosphorus potassium and uh, magnesium so due to magnesium deficiency we can observe uh, reddening of cotton spongy tissue of uh, mango is due to calcium boron zinc molybdenum due to calcium deficiency we can observe uh, spongy tissue of mango uh, green netting of citrus is uh, due to potassium zinc boron iron so here after i'm not going to study all the options okay so here the uh, green netting of citrus is due to iron deficiency then a little leaf of apple is uh, due to our uh, due to the deficiency of uh, zinc deficiency the four we have seen little leaf of brinjal sorry uh, um, what we have seen rice kera citrus foliocellulosis white bud of maize and a little leaf of apple these four are caused by zinc deficiency acuity disease of rice is due to the toxicity of sulfur dioxide due to the sulfur dioxide there is a disease called acuity disease i think it was first discovered in japan that's why it's named as japanese name right so cascota belonging to the family convolvulaceae cascota belonging to the family convolvulaceae european mistletoe which of the following is a european mistletoe viscum album generally called a european mistletoe so buttoning of cauliflower is mainly due to nitrogen deficiency edema or edema uh, in cabbage uh, is uh, due to high moisture content due to high moisture content adima radi odima can be observed in cabbage sandalwood is a so which of the following is a uh, generally the sandalwood is comes under so sandalwood is generally a partial stem parasite so these are all the answers for the 
questions that you have given if there is any mistakes uh, please bring in to the notice of us and we will definitely rectify in the further editions further more information students can refer this book a vision into plant pathology a complete student version further more doubts and clarifications uh, student can reach us at www.geekyresearcher.com stay geeky and stay tuned we are team geeky researchers